The word of God says in Colossians chapter 2, verse 11, In whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands. Referring to a spiritual circumcision, a spiritual operation of God that takes place the moment we believe, the moment we place our faith on Christ. Now, what exactly takes place? In putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Notice that. So by the circumcision of Christ, there is a putting off the body of the sins of the flesh. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who hath raised him from the dead, and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, that is past tense, prior to salvation, prior to faith in Christ, hath he quickened or made alive together with him, having forgiven you some trespasses, most trespasses, no, all trespasses, that's past, present, and future sin, my friend, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Understand this, again, the moment you believe on Christ, a spiritual operation takes place. An irreversible operation takes place. You are spiritually circumcised. There is a putting off the body of the sins of the flesh, and that is permanent. Once you are circumcised, there's no going back. You can't go from circumcised to uncircumcised. That doesn't make sense logically nor biblically. Once you are circumcised spiritually, that's permanent. Once you are made alive spiritually, that's permanent. Jesus said, whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die, believest thou this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The moment you place your faith on Christ, a spiritual circumcision takes place, a putting off the body of the sins of the flesh, and that is irreversible. Talk about eternally secure in Christ. Talk about once saved, always saved. All of our trespasses are forgiven. He hath quickened us together with him. We are circumcised by the circumcision of Christ. There is a putting off the body, the sins of the flesh. Once we are saved, we are always saved. We are eternally secure in God's hand.